Hello and welcome back to another edition of Teacher Talks Second Grade. Today I'm going to focus in on the Scholastic Book Orders. Right now it is the middle of September 2018, beginning of the school year, and what that means is, well, that means that the first order forms are going home, at least if you're in my class, the first order forms are going home for the Scholastic Book Orders. So today I'm going to talk to the teachers, the parents, and the students. If you're a teacher out there and you have not done the Scholastic Book Orders, I'm going to explain to you why it used to be a pain in the neck to do these orders, why it's easy to do it now, and that goes for teachers and for parents, and why I think that shopping for books in this way is such an awesome thing for your students and for your parents as far as leveling the books and understanding more information about them. If you're a student out there, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to this one. What an awesome way to gain knowledge about these books. Figure out which ones are not a good fit. Figure out which ones are a good fit. Do some chores around your house, see if you can earn some money, and maybe mom and dad can talk about ordering some books for you. Again, you're going to want to talk to your teacher and make sure you guys do them at your school. I've also um, done orders in my classroom for students in my adjoining second grade if that teacher decides not to do them. So you might want to ask around and see if you can find a teacher at your school if your particular teacher does not do these order forms. So let's talk about why I used to kind of give a thumb sideways to scholastic book orders, if you will. So how I used to do this is the kids would shop for their books. The kids would figure out the little secret code number for these books. They'd come over here, fill out the form, bring in this form, have some nickels, dimes, quarters, pennies, whatever they could find, maybe some dollar bills if I got lucky. I'd have to spend a whole bunch of my time and usually my money chipping in the extra amount if they were short, something like that. And then we'd order the books. It was a pain in the neck, to be honest with you. And the years that I felt like I had lots of energy or not that much going on in my life, I would go ahead and do it for the kids anyway. But now I've got three kids of my own. My life is busy. I just don't have time for that. And I'm so grateful because now you can go online and you basically sign up and they tell you how to do it right here. And then your teacher is going to have this little secret code they can put in right here. And that secret code is going to help to make sure that your teacher gets bonus points so they can buy more books to put in your classroom library if they choose. But also is what it does is that secret code says, okay, now we know where to send these books, what school to go to, and maybe what classroom to go to as well. So this is a game changer for me. Only takes me a couple minutes each year to set it up. And then the parents in my classroom know that they have to order these books online. I am no longer allowing the kids to bring these order forms with pennies and nickels and dimes and quarters. I don't have time for that. And honestly, I think this is probably easier for the parents too. So I ask all order forms go online. And once you get uh, set up teachers out there with this little secret code, maybe the first time takes about 20 minutes to get it all set up. But each year, again, it's like, I, I don't know, maybe a couple minutes for me to get it going. But uh, And then the parents put in that secret code and you're good to go. So it's really, really easy and takes all that kind of pain in the neck out of ordering these books. So let's talk more about why I love these books. First of all, they always have the current books. So right now, the new Dogman, Lord of the Fleas came out. Man, it is such a big hit, absolutely. I have four copies in my classroom, and I can't keep them you know, in stock. The kids, keep, they have like sign-up forms to get more their hands on this book. Some of them already read it once, and they're like signing up again. And it's just, it's really awesome stuff. And it's exciting to see the kids so excited about that. The other thing that Scholastic does is, you know, sometimes they have some special stuff. Here's like the Dogman uh, series that you can get. And here's a Dogman mashup contest, which I made another video of. So subscribe to this channel and you can check that out, the details of that contest. So it's just really fun kind of as a teacher to be current with the books that are very popular in that age group or that grade level. And also some fun stuff going on like those contests. Here's what's really, really cool as well. So on these books, not every single book and not every single series does this, but on a lot of them, you'll notice that they level the books. That's what all this real small fine printing is down here. So the leveling system that I use in my classroom is a GRL, the guided reading level. Dogman comes in between a P and a Q. If you know this channel, I've said it before, the graphic novels are a little bit lower than they're showing on this GRL. This shows a GRL of P and Q. Well, the Magic Treehouse comes in at a level M on the GRL, and if your student can read Magic Treehouse, they can almost for sure read Dogman. At least that's what I've learned from my experience. So be careful here and don't hold your kiddos back until they're at that P and Q level on the guided reading level. 
If your student is a relatively strong second grade reader, they're gonna be able to read Dogman almost for sure. And if your student is you know, even a step uh, behind that as far as progress goes, they're probably going to be okay with Dogman. Maybe the first time they read the book, they need to have an instructor next to them or a teacher or an older brother or a peer or whatever. But, uh, but again, awesome book. My opinion is it should probably be rated more like an M on the guided reading level. In fact, the books in my classroom that if you know this channel, I have them all la labeled and leveled. The Dogmans, I really tell the kids, those should all be at M's. Go ahead and read it if you want. Speaking of the new book over here, here's the guided reading level on the new one in R. It is a tiny bit harder than the books previous, these four guys here. However, again, if your reader is reading at that M level, they're probably gonna do just fine even with this new Dogman book. So really great information here. You know, the kids can learn a little bit about the books. And um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to, to do a little bit more shopping here. And maybe we'll kind of see what else we can find in here. So some of the books I kind of shy away from. Some of them that have been huge hits in my classroom. The Who Would Win book series is absolutely phenomenal. Comes at the guided reading level of P. This is kind of a newer one right here, uh, which is the hyena versus a honey badger. And uh, you can see there, three bucks. Now, this one has beautiful pictures. It is kind of more of like an almost pamphlet style of a book uh, versus like a hardcover or something like that. But three bucks, how can you go wrong with that? And again, the GRL on this is a P. This is nonfiction style. So this guy's a strong P. In other words, it's, uh, it, it's a pretty high level for a second grade reader. They have to really be a, a strong reader in my classroom if they're gonna read those uh, Who Would Wins. And most of the Who Would Wins are at that P level and above, maybe a few of them at the O level, but they're kind of up at that level of end of second grade, um, actually more end of third grade, excuse me, more end of third grade as far as levels go. But about half of my second grade class is at that level where they can read these books. So huge hit, who would win? Huge hit, Dogman. There's a few others that have been big hits in here in my classroom as well. And uh, we'll see if we can find a few more of these guys. So we'll kind of walk through. Here's Rainbow Magic. A lot of the girls in my class are really enjoying this book series as well. Now, not all of the book series show their levels on here. And I don't see it with this uh, particular book series here. If I'm remembering correctly, the Rainbow Magics come in somewhere around that MNO level. I believe that's where they're at. I might have to double check that, so don't take my word on it, but I believe that's where they're at. And those read more like a uh, traditional chapter book. Let's call it kind of like that Magic Treehouse. So anyway, a pretty good size hit in my class. This is really cool. With the onset of the Common Core, there's more and more of this nonfiction. So another really awesome way to get those nonfiction books here. So you can get that series right there. Six readers for 12 bucks. A J through O on the GRL. That's awesome. I think that in my classroom, I, I bought something like six sets of this guy right here. Um, not, not this year, but in previous years, uh, a set similar to that. And I thought they were a really great deal. Again, these books that are really inexpensive, are gonna be kind of that pamphlet style. Definitely not hard covered. They do have beautiful pictures and beautiful pages inside, but kind of in that pamphlet style of a uh, paperback. All right, let's keep on shopping through here. And some of this stuff I'm gonna kind of gloss over, but you guys at home can kind of, I don't know, maybe press pause on something like that. And I know some of you kids just go, oh my goodness, I need that rock collection. Well, if I'm your teacher, I usually kind of tell the kids to shy away from that stuff. I want you ordering books and books at your level from here. And here's a big one. So here's a new fly guy that's coming out here. This guy's a J on the on the GRL level, the guided reading level. Very cool. Fly guy, if you know my channel, uh, I am a big fan of fly guy. If you have a reader who's kind of at that end of first grade, beginning second grade level, especially if they are a reluctant reader, Fly Guy is a huge, huge hit, and there's a whole bunch of Fly Guy series that are out there. They come in the color style. Most of the time, I buy them in the kind of pamphlet form. They're only a handful of dollars per book, and I have, I probably have 50 of them in my classroom. Um, really, really great books. All right, and that brings us back to that front page as well. So anyway, awesome, awesome uh, way to get books. So one of the reasons I love ordering these books is that I actually get bonus points as a teacher and then I use those bonus points and I buy more books to put in my classroom library. I think that the classroom library is probably one of the most underrated things as a teacher. 
doing second grade for eight years that I realized how important it is to have the, the books right there for the kids. They're not having to go to the classroom library, the public library. They're right there. They put them in their book box. They take their book box, box with them when they read. They might have five to ten books with them. And that way there's no excuses. They're not up, out of their seat, shopping around during reading time. No, you just get comfortable, get your book box, get those books and read. So with these books here, they're usually one of the least expensive ways to buy these books. Every once in a while I'll shop Amazon and kind of be surprised that uh, Amazon might be even a little bit less expensive. But in general, this is a phenomenal way to buy books. And I think I've got another order form here. Let me see if I can find, oh, there's good old Captain Underpants. Now, Captain Underpants, I'm going to give you a little bit of a warning on. Uh, is there potty talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the warning, though. Really, the warning that I'm going to give is the ones that are less expensive here are going to be the uh, black and white pictures, and they're going to be in the paperback books. I don't recommend that. If you have the money to do it, especially books, I think one through five or one through six now, you can get them in hardcover and you can get with the colored pictures and they're just a beautiful book. They're so much more engaging when you buy them that way and the kids absolutely love them. So I do have the rest of the books and the rest of the books uh, in that series. They've only made the first handful of them, first five or six in the hardcover color, full, full colors. But the rest of them, you are forced to, at least for now, get them in the uh, paperback book style with the black and white colors. Awesome, awesome book series. And if you know Dave Pilkey, that is kind of his flagship, I believe. But uh, very cool, very fun books. Geronimo Stilton, another huge hit in my classroom. Geronimo Stilton, very cool books. But what I was looking for is, where did that magic tree house go? Let me, let me keep shopping through here. Maybe it's kind of fun for you to shop with me. All right, here you go. Magic tree house. So Magic Treehouse, if you're not familiar with it, is a huge hit for second grade readers-ish. Meaning, if you have a phenomenal first grade reader and they identify as a reader and love to read, well, maybe they're up at that level. It comes in at an M on the guided reading level for most of the books. And um, you know, the, your kiddo might be reading this first grade, second grade, third grade, I don't know, fourth grade. But in general, we consider this kind of to be a book that is the end of second grade as far as the actual levels go. That's where the guided reading level puts an M, is the end of second grade. And one thing that's really cool with these books is, this is one that I would recommend going ahead and just getting the paperback books. There's not many pictures in these books anyway. And these are really a great early chapter book. So they kind of show two different sets here. So if you wanted to get books 1 through 28, you can get them right here. And you see the price there. I mean, it's pretty phenomenal price. And then they have a kind of larger collection up here as well. 55 books for $82, $83, something like that. And then every once in a while, I haven't seen a whole lot of them in these uh, hard-covered books. But here's the new Magic Treehouse right here. Hurricane Heroes in Texas, and that one is the hardcover. Now you look here, all of a sudden you're paying $12.50 for a book, which I'm not opposed to paying that much for a book, but these ones are such a great value, and again, it's not like you're losing something in like beautiful illustrations or something like that, so my recommendation is go ahead and get those Magic Treehouse and just do the paperbacks on them. So I'll kind of fly through these guys a little bit more and maybe talk about a couple more book series. We'll see what we see here. Boy, Pete the Cat uh, for early, early readers. Uh, kinder in first grade. That's a huge, huge hit for those book series. Again, those fly guys, big, big hits there. And gadgets and stuff. Yeah, students at home. I mean, I love the gadgets too. That's not what we're doing though. We're shopping for books, getting some books to read. All right, guys. Hey, I think that's going to do it for the video. Do me a favor. If you like seeing these kind of videos, shopping through these kind of books and getting some advice on book levels, maybe you're a teacher, maybe you're a parent, maybe you're a student, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up. When I see that thumbs up, it's telling me, hey, you're on the right track. Keep making videos about book orders, or maybe it's about Dave Pilkey and Dogman, or whatever it might be. And if I'm not seeing a lot of those thumbs up, I know that maybe I need to go a different direction on what you guys would like to see out there. After all, that is what I'm trying to do with this video and these, um, this channel, is give those students, teachers, and parents what they need to make sure that they're making great choices for their kiddos and see if we can get these students to really fall in love with reading at these early grade levels. All right, guys. Hey, that's it for now. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.